This is how you can turn website visitors into paying customers. So we've created a e-commerce landing page checklist that you could use to optimize your landing pages and to ultimately turn your visitors into paying customers. So the first element of your page that we want to consider or look at is the header banner. So this is really prime real estate on your landing page because this is one of the first things that people will see when they land on the page. So you really want to focus here on highlighting potential USPs or unique offerings that you might have. So examples could include free shipping or exclusive discounts on first purchases, maybe some form of a bundle offer, whatever unique selling point you have or value that you have to add, I would definitely highlight it in the header banner. Next up is the heading. So the heading should clearly speak to a pain point um, that a user has. So we really want to capture their attention immediately as they go through your landing page um, and really just grab their attention and make sure that they're going to read on further. So we've provided some formulas that just helps you simplify the process of coming up with really strong and impactful headlines um, instead of just a very vague or not specific headline at all. So you can see here, here's a few examples of how to eliminate pet odors without harsh chemicals within one week. So ultimately we're highlighting a big problem. Um, we're also referring so to something that they don't necessarily like doing. And then also providing them a time frame in which they can expect to see results. So very well thought out formula in terms of how we can go about um, developing really um, impactful headlines for your landing page. Following this, we can look at the subheading. So here we again want to pick up a pain point or an issue that your audience is facing and just address that kind of directly. We've also included again some formulas that you can look at um, to help you come up with creative and impactful subheadings. So just as, as an example for the pain point plus relief. So frustrated with short battery, battery life, our phones last 48 hours on a single charge. So really focusing again on the pain point as well as the relief. The product gallery is also something that is extremely important and something that I believe is very underutilized in its full kind of potential. Um, besides actually including just high quality images um, that shows your product from multiple angles, we also want to include a zoom in functionality, of course, to highlight the quality and detail. But in addition to that, you really want to use this gallery to provide as much information as you possibly can. So you would obviously have your main image, which is your product focused image, but then you can also add to that kind of slider or gallery more information. So this could be in the form of a feature point out um, image, uh, us versus them benefit kind of um, approach, something that maybe just gives more information on maybe how to use the product if that's relevant, or um, maybe more something specific to the ingredients. So really use this product gallery to add as much value to your users and to convey as much information as, as you possibly can. The product description is also extremely important. Um, here we really want to focus on highlighting or focusing on any benefits um, that the product provides. And it's always a good idea to use bullet points to make it just easy to digest from a user's perspective. Um, we also like to use, for example, uh, you could use collapsible um, columns just to reduce kind of the text heaviness from kind of the, the first time the user lands on the page. Um, so that's really a nice way just to summarize and keep it neat and looking good as well. The call to action, of course, is very important as well. So always make sure that we're using compelling call to actions. Um, we want to make sure that we are telling users what we want them to do. And it's important to have call to actions throughout your landing page to prompt them to ultimately buy. It's also a good idea to customize your call to action. So instead of just having a buy now, you can use something like shop today for free delivery or buy now to save 20%. So really customize it and kind of have to allow it to have a better impact at the end of the day. In order to differentiate your offerings and to really communicate that value that you have to offer is to include an X reasons why section. So, you know, this could be like three reasons why or uh, five reasons why, how many reasons you, you might have include that. Um, and we want to do this in a, in a very um, simple way so that it's easy to digest. So whether that's a bullet, bullet format, like bullet points, or you can do a nice graph um, that just, or not a graph, just a block with or a designed image um, that really clearly communicates why people should choose your product. 
Customer reviews and ratings. This is probably one of the most important things to have on your landing page because at the end of the day, um, people trust people. So we really want to show and tell people um, how our product works or how well it works through the eyes of our actual and existing customers. So this is super, super important. Another way to differentiate your products from others is to include an us versus them. This is very effective, um, especially if you have extremely unique kind of USPs that you can build on. So we want to include a comparison here between you and your competitors or similar products um, and really showcase how yours is better than, than the competitors or than this alternative um, option that might be available out there. For more credibility and just to create that trust, it's also a good idea to display security badges, return policies, money back guarantees. Um, so include these trust badges just to reassure customers about their purchase. Um, and then we can also look at utilizing urgency or scarcity tactics. So this is really to just encourage users to take action immediately or as fast as possible. Um, and this is really something, this is something that you can do quite well with limited time offers um, or other tactics um, on your landing page that can really just uh, emphasize that, that urgency or that scarcity kind of element. Upselling, cross-selling, of course, definitely something to include. We want to maximize order values by recommending um, related products um, at the right time. So this is definitely something to consider as well. And then lastly, FAQ section. So always preempt potential questions that people can have about your product. So we want to fight those object objections from the get-go um, so that we can really just remove any barriers that potentially could prevent them from wanting to purchase our product. And I really believe, or well, based on our experience as well, and I also believe that including these elements into your landing page really makes a difference um, and really just helps you build that trust and credibility um, to ultimately turn those website, website visitors into actual paying customers. Then we've also included a section for additional elements to consider. So firstly, visual, visuals and media. So always make sure to include, you know, high quality images and videos, videos that are engaging. Um, this could, for example, include a how to video or interactive 360 degree views to enhance user engagement. So really nice element to add. We also just want to always make sure that we are, are focusing on our benefits over features. So yes, we want to list our features and it is important to get that out there. But we want to translate that into benefits that actually resonate with the audience because this just tends to be more compel compelling um, and tends to have a better impact on, on users at the end of the day. Mobile optimization, of course, people are doing most of their shopping mobile these days. So we really want to make sure that it's a seamless experience um, and that also ties into the loading speed. So not only do you want to make sure that your landing page is visually and um, that it visually looks well on mobile and that it's easy to navigate, you also want to make sure that your loading speed is very fast because we don't want to lose people just because of slow loading times. So we've linked a free tool there that you can use, which is extremely helpful. Um, it gives you your score from website as well as mobile, as well as suggestions on how to actually improve um, your speed. In addition to the like testimonials and reviews and stuff like that, you really want to include social proof as well. So beyond your customer reviews, this can include like case studies or media mentions, celebrity endorsements, if you have something like that. So really to just enhance that credibility and, and to attract a wider audience. And then lastly, exit intent pop-up. So always include a pop-up on your landing page because you just want to make sure that you are trying your best to capture um, the users before they actually bounce off or before they leave your page. So it's kind of your last effort to really just engage with them and to kind of convince them. This is always more effective if you can offer them some form of a, a discount, for example, you know, if you um, buy within the next, I don't know, one hour or something, you can get 20% off. Something again that ties into that urgency um, kind of factor. The last section of this e-commerce landing page checklist, um, we also just want to consider when, our, when we're looking at our landing page content to take into account the following building blocks. So the first question you want to ask yourself is what is the desired result? So the idea is that we make sure that we are really communicating 
how our product can transform a person's current situation into a desired um, into a desired one. And we can do this by doing the following. So we can start with a bold statement that captures the transformative potential of your offering. We can describe a situation where our product already has changed someone's life. And we can also make sure to use aspirational language that actually taps into the emotions and the desires of this audience. Then the second question we want to ask is, are we solving a problem worth, worth solving? So this comes down to really validating the customer's pain points and showing that you understand their challenges. So it's essential to articulate the problem clearly and to demonstrate that solving it will bring significant value to their lives. Um, we can really do this through clearly identifying common pain points. We can discuss these problems in detail to show the understanding and empathy, and then also explain why these issues need immediate solutions. The third question is, what is the perceived likelihood of success? So we want to showcase evidence of our product's effectiveness. So this is done through the testimonials and the reviews or case studies, elements that are vital in demonstrating how people can benefit or how they have benefited um, in the past. So besides now obviously the testimonials and reviews, we can also include statistical data points if that's um, relevant to the product that you are offering and also highlight any endorsements from industry experts. What is the time to su success? So obviously our prospects and our audiences want to know not just how they will benefit, but how quickly they're going to get the results. So we can do this by specifying the timeframes within which customers can expect results and so make sure we're clearly communicating that. And also we can provide guarantees or assurances to really alleviate any concerns um, about potential delays. In addition to that, we also want to ask how effortless is how effortless is it? So we want to show how easy and convenient it is to use your product um, and to address concerns about the effort that's required before the person can actually benefit from it. So this is our e-commerce landing page checklist in a nutshell. Um, follow along for more tips and tricks. If you really like this, go and check out our socials. We'll be posting a lot more. Um, yeah, until next time.